I, I genuinely, I, I am optimistic. Um, and in, in terms of um, diplomacy and international relations, uh, I do see um, these changes coming up. I do feel um, that we, uh, as small countries, have to put more of an effort for our voice to be heard. Yeah. Uh, I think that um, we are doing that. Um, yeah. We're doing that in terms of how we, uh, we tell our story. Um, yeah. We understand um, our interests. Um, and we project our image to the rest of the world. Uh, Bahrain is an island, it's a small island, it has a very unique story um, historically. And so yeah. I do feel that Bahraini diplomats understand that there's a difference between Bahrain as an island and a small island and China. Um, yeah. and, um, I, I do feel that once you understand that and you really understand the differences, then yeah. you position the country um, in a certain way. Uh, whether the, we're going to a world of, you know, it's China against the U.S. or whether we're going into a world where, you know, you see more emerging markets coming up and you see a world of multipolarity rather than that bipolarity, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I do see that um, the wave of um, groups um, in, in the Arab world is dying down. I mean, we had, we spoke about the left wing movements that came and swept through the Arab world and then died out. Yeah. And then, so, um, I mean, groups that were um, more extreme in terms of uh, identifying yeah. across religion and religious lines, unfortunately, using religion for power gains. And I yeah. think that's dying out. So I do see a new wave and I genuinely see um, the, the young people coming up and that being the next, I hope that being the next wave.